Welcome to your diet.com video. I'm Sarah Dusso and today I'm with Stephen Cabral, body transformation expert. And Stephen is going to be showing us a lower body exercise called the goblet squat. So this weight looks intimidating. Yes. And so we have a nice 25 pound <laughs> dumbbell here. So the reason that you have to use a pretty challenging weight is because you're using both hands to hold on to this weight. And so the big thing about a goblet squat is it's almost like a front squat where you're challenging your core to a greater degree. So not only are you hitting your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your calves, every muscle in your leg, but you're also really taxing your entire um, core. That includes your lower back, your obliques, and your abs. And you're also using your biceps a little bit to hold this weight. So what I want you to do is hold the weight on the sides right like this and clasp the top. You never want to kind of like just keep your hands open. Safety first. All right, so first thing I'm going to have you do is grab this weight. Okay, so you don't, if you hold it a little in front of your body, it makes it even more challenging for your core. I want you to hold it pretty close to your body though today. Your feet should be about between hip and shoulder width apart because a front squat is a little bit more quad dominant. All right, so what I want you to do is sit back with your hips with the weight on the heels, okay? And come right back to the top. So unlike a back squat, where you're doing a front squat, you only want about five degrees of back flexion. So, or spinal flexion. So you wanna keep your chest up really high and almost keep it straight up and down. And that way there, your abs will work even harder rather than your lower back. You're just gonna sit back, breathe in, and breathe out. So again, as you can see, this weight's actually not too difficult for Sarah to do. I would use this as a warm-up set, and then I would go to probably 35 pounds, 40 pounds next. That may seem like a lot, but it's really just like holding 15s or 20 pounds in each hand, so it's not that bad. Let's have you turn a little bit, because I wanna show, too, how you're sitting back, you're keeping your chest up. Really important here, Sarah's knees aren't going over her toes. I'm big on that because the reason I think that most people say that their knees hurt when they squat is simply because they start with their knees instead of moving back first with their hips. And if you move back first with your hips, you start to engage the larger muscles. And those are the ones that you use when you go to sit down in a chair and you go to stand back up. That's why people's knees don't hurt typically when they sit down in a chair, only when they squat at the gym. I'll take that now. And um, so that's the thing. If you use proper form when squatting, it's gonna strengthen your whole body. And the reason that you have to have squats in your program is because it's such a metabolic exercise. That means it's gonna boost your metabolism, it's gonna help you burn body fat, and allow you to actually eat more calories, which is a good thing. Yeah, and that's why I'm a little bit out of breath right now. So thank you for that. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out all of our other amazing lower body exercise moves to incorporate into your strength training routine. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.